Hello guys, it's Bob Powers here. Uh, today I'm going to do a little video here, see if we can improve on the looks of a pair of shoes that I snagged. And I'll show you a little bit about them. The reason I picked up these shoes, they are Floor Shine Imperials. Okay, now teach you something about these. So if you've seen some of my other videos, I'm not going to go through everything in detail. So you look under the tongue, they're 12 triple E. So D is a standard width shoe, E is one step wider. So these are, you know, you're generally not going to find shoes wider than a triple E. So this is a large shoe. Uh, leather, upper, lining, and outsole made in India. You see the model number 18431. So first of all, let's turn the shoe over. And usually if I want to look for the quality of a shoe, the first thing I'm going to do is turn the shoe over. So you see it's got a leather outsole. We already saw on the inside of the shoe it stated leather. And Florsheim Imperial. Goodyear welted. It even says it right there. That's a key thing. So, if you've seen my other videos that tell about shoe construction, you can see the stitches. Okay, and this, the width of each of those stitches does seem to match on the bottom. So this is a, you can tell it's a genuinely Goodyear welted sole. That's a, the best method of sole construction. You actually got a half leather, half rubber heel here. And I'm sorry about the daylight glare there. You can see it's got a little bit of wear. There's still plenty of life left in the sole. And you can even see the there's a couple brass nails in them. Okay? There is wear on the toe. You see it's wearing through the threads a little bit with the you know where the toe it's hard to get it to focus right on there. Okay? So they're in good condition. I've got some wear. And if you look at the uppers, there's no cracking that I saw. This is a derby, so this would be a little more of a casual style, casual dress shoe, I should say. Uh, split toe. So not my favorite. There's nothing wrong with it, but just it's not my personal favorite style. But you can see there's a little bit of, you know, there's some scratching, some nicking, nothing major. Okay, definitely, these definitely need a, a, a polish and a spit shine. But I see no cracking in the leather. Okay. They definitely need cleaning. And here, right on the top through here. What I see there is these things definitely the Saphir Reno mat. I'll show you that. Uh, to, to basically take off, there's I think some polish, old layers of polish, and it's starting to flake off. Okay, so um, let's see what we can do to make these things look a little better. Okay, let's get started. First of all, this is the Saphir Renault Matte. Okay, uh, this stuff is pretty smelly, and this stuff is ideally suited basically for being able to clean off what's on the surface of, of the shoes. Okay, so you can see it settles. So you got to shake it up. Careful with this stuff; it's it's really smelly. Um, try not to leave it open too long. Don't breathe the fumes too much. I'm just going to take uh, you know try and get a little, I guess, a clean spot on this dirty old rag. Okay. And, okay. Got some on there. Let's see what we can do to these things. A little bit of this stuff goes a long way. And you're going to press pretty hard. Because I actually do want to take what's on the surface of the shoe off. Okay, and I'm just going to do this small area. Now, do you see that? I'm sorry about the light here. Okay. I mean, it's obviously taken quite a bit of material off of the surface. See that? Okay, so now I really went over the entire shoe with the Saphir Renault mat and the rag, okay, with this stuff in the rag. Um, and you know, you can see the last, t the last time around it was right there. It did not pick up much. So this is uh, the before shot, I guess. I mean, this is the, the shoe. I have not touched the shoe, okay? And what I'm trying to get you to see in the video is you see it just looks kind of mottled. There's like shiny spots, dull spots. It's not all uniform. Um, it really does look like to me that there is polish on the shoe um, and it's on the uneven, okay? So compared with this, now this is not shiny. The purpose of this is not to get it shiny. It's to strip everything off. So we want a solid, you know, we just want the solid, you know, factory leather and finish there to be able to build back on top of. Okay. So I think it's looking better already. I'm going to do the other shoe. I'll come back. Okay. So, um, that's pretty deep cleaned and they're looking pretty good. So the next step in this is going to be a cream polish. 
Okay, what I'm gonna use here for these is Sapphire is the brand. That's a premium shoe polish. Um, and I actually got this from thehangerproject.com. Thehangerproject.com is where I got this, uh, Medal Dior. Um, and this is a cream polish. I'll show you something with this, okay? Um, this is not a paste, okay, like you typically get in a tin. And the reason I'm using this is it is a little bit more uh, color in it, okay? So I'll try and show you the consistency. I don't know if you can see, but the... The consistency is very soft, okay? And it's got a high amount of pigment in it, so. Okay, so got the good, nice, Thick layer of polish on them. Let's brush them up. And I'm using pretty heavy pressure when I do this. Generally, after brushing a pair of shoes, uh, I start to sweat a little bit. It means you're working. Normally, I would um, often take this laces out. Um, if the laces are a different color, like if they were, you know, light tan laces or something, you know, in other words, black polish isn't going to hurt black laces. Okay, so may or may not take the laces out. And not too bad. We're definitely not done. Okay, I think I'm going to do another round. I'll do the other shoe and I'll come back. Okay, second layer is on. I didn't do the second layer on the back, just on the front half of the shoe. Now oh, we're starting to get a decent finish on there. Alright, and next I'm going to put uh, the paste wax on the harder wax. I'll come back for that. Okay, for the uh, next coat here, I'm going to go ahead and use Kiwi Polish. If these were like an Allen Edmonds shoe, you know, three, four hundred dollar shoe or something like that, I probably wouldn't use the Kiwi, but for this case, I think it's going to be fine. I'm going to, you know, kind of use up this old stock too as I switch over to Sapphire, okay? Um, but this is just a standard black. Okay. So. Now this is obviously a much harder consistency of wax, okay? This is probably going to fill more voids, okay? And it's going to go on thicker. Now at this point you actually could use a neutral, you know, like a, you know, no color, a clear. Because you've put the color down with the cream wax. And I'm going to put it pretty thick over the toe cap here, the tip of the toes especially. This will help fill in scratches and cover up nicks. Okay. And you're rubbing it in pretty hard. Okay, I'll do the other shoe, and I'll come back. Okay, we've got a good solid coat now of the paste wax on. Let's brush it off with a horsehair brush. Dark brush for dark shoes, and you should have a lighter brush for lighter shoes. Yeah. 
now the shine is starting to really come out. Down into the welt. Up between the laces. And each stage is getting better. Not bad, not bad, look at that. Okay, so there's one more step. Okay, I'm going to do the other shoe and I'll come back.